Series 16 of Taskmaster has recently ended, and it was amazing. I loved it. I loved the cast. Uh, I think this is an all-time great cast. Very funny, very lovely, pleasant. One of the weirdest overall casts, I'd say, uh, which made for a great season. I love a lot of their sense of humor. Um, and I wanted to come back in and talk about how I think they do on Survivor, since I did that for all the previous series. Um, I'll probably do this for all the future ones going forward, and uh, at some point I'll do the New Year's Treat cast as well. Uh, but for now, let's jump on in with the Series 16 Taskmaster cast and how I think they would do on Survivor. Alright, first up is my man Julian Clary. I have him being a sole survivor. I think he could win survivor i think he would be on the beauty tribe out of uh, brain beauty or brawn and i think he would play like a villain uh, i think julian would be amazing he's very lovely uh very soft-spoken but uh funny and smart i think socially he'd do well enough to win i think he could charm people i think he could be a lot of people's uh buddy while secretly plotting their demise i think he'd be great at confessionals he's just someone that i could see myself rooting for on survivor um in terms of <laughs> taskmaster and how like comparing how he did on taskmaster to how he do on survivor he almost won the series uh he was uh had a, a very fun relationship with alex in the sense that he hated alex and i loved that it was very funny um overall just a, f a funny guy um seems very sure of himself which i like i think it'd be funny i think it'd be smart i think it'd be great on the show so i have him as a winner on to lucy beaumont i have her going pre-merge i also have her on the beauty tribe but i do have her as a hero lucy beaumont is one of the weirdest uh contestants taskmaster scene i think uh she's very strange with her anecdotes and stories for prize tests or really just anything um i absolutely love her um, and I love Julian too, but Lucy, uh, Julian's funny in his own way, or Lucy's funny in the sense that she's just a strange person, and I love her for it. Do I think it would get her fond survivor? I don't think so. I think she would be pre-merge. Um, uh, there's potential to go post-merge, uh, but not potential as a winner, I don't think. I feel like she'd be pre-merge. I think people would find her strange. Uh, I would, <laughs> I would... I would kill to be uh, playing Survivor with Lucy Beaumont, though she's very funny. But I have her on the Beauty Tribe. I, I don't see her going full force brawn. Maybe, uh, maybe I could have, but uh, or Brain. For me, she just seemed like a, a Beauty Tribe member. She seemed to be uh, more her her wheelhouse. She got very creative with some of the tasks. Uh, and stories <laughs> um and i have her as hero i don't see her being villainous she had moments of like uh not not meanness or anything but moments where she would like kind of snap uh there's that one live task where she got real mad uh or maybe two uh but overall i have her as a hero i think she she'd play a straightforward game trying to keep up with other players and not succeeding but being very entertaining while it happens so that's where i have the great lucy beaumont on to sam campbell i have him as a wild card i don't know how to rank him as a brain beater brawn and i don't know whether he'd be a hero or a villain sam campbell is i said lucy's one of the strangest sam might be the number one strangest like for me sam is the strangest contestant i've seen on taskmaster probably since paul chowdhury <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know, there, there are other strange ones up there in the conversation, but Sam, in terms of uh, series that I've watched as they aired, uh, he's number one for sure. Uh, absolutely funny, he had me, from the first episode, when, uh, when he could ask, when he, he had to ask Greg one question, he asked him if he's a child of divorce. Uh, I loved him, uh, I loved him, to, like, that, it was that, that live task at the end of the first episode where he says he thinks the two things weigh the same sam campbell he's an absolute nut so many tasks with him were done very strange and funny ways um i thought he was great at a lot of the prize tasks very funny very weird but it means i don't know whether to put him as a brain beater brown or a hero or a villain i don't think he would play villainously 
Is that a word? Uh, we're gonna go with it. Um, but then there are moments in Taskmaster where he's like bribing a child <laughs> to to say his flamingo looks asleep or whatever. You know, like there's stuff like that where I'm like, there's a there's a villain in there. Um, and there's a cheekiness in with him hiding behind Greg's throne during the live task where Greg has to find the pineapples. But and that goes for Brain Beauty and Bronn too. There are moments where he's very clever. Moments where he was more creative or like lovely than moments where he was just going for it. So I, I can't solidly rank Sam Campbell. He's one of the strangest Taskmaster contestants. One of my favorites. Uh, and I, I the series the series is great because all of the contestants on the series are amazing. Um, but Sam Campbell uh, and on a season of standouts. Uh, sorry, a series of standouts. Sam Campbell is a standout to me, but an impossible one to rank. Moving on. <laughs> we have Sue Perkins. I love Sue Perkins. Um, I think she would play well. I think she'd be a brawn and a hero. Um, she has moments of shit talking. I, I love when she shit talks Alex, but overall, uh, I think she'd be a hero. I think of her and uh, Susan's just their their team tasks. I think they're up there as like an all time great team just because I loved how <laughs> how much they got along. It was just very pleasant to watch them do any tasks together um, and uplift one another. Um, so Sue I have as a hero, I have her as Braun because she did go about things in a, a head on sort of way. Um, not always, but uh, it, there's that and then the way she came at Alex I feel like was very brown tribe inspired but not, not necessarily necessarily villain if you're mean to alex it doesn't make you a villain everyone uh on the show should be mean to alex <laughs> i love alex though he, he he puts himself in that role it's okay uh and i have her as a fallen angel i don't see her winning i see her in that spot where you get cut and everyone at tribal is like sad to vote you up but they know they have to because they'll lose to you and she'll have her moment and then she'll come back on a later series, sorry, season for Survivor, and she'll probably do fine. That's how I'm seeing it for Sue Perkins. Um, loved Sue Perkins. Also, one of the best names of all time, Sue Perkins. If you say it real fast, it sounds like Superkins. I don't know why I like that, but I do. On to Susan Wacoma. I have her as a sole survivor, I have her as a beauty, and I have her as a hero. Susan, um... Uh, they talked about this on the Taskmaster podcast, but Susan Wilcoma is very, very weird, and it's she's overshadowed by like Lucy and Sam also being on the series. But um, there's the Chain Bastard task, she, the Cult task. Like she's very creative and strange sometimes, but also very normal and 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 good at like schmoozing. She did a great job with the prize task, uh, schmoozing to Greg, very lovely in her team with Sue. Um, in terms of being a sole survivor, like, there's all of those things I just said, and then, uh, she's got, she spent 30 grand at Rada, like, she's got the acting chops, she can, she can lie, she can schmooze, she can win this game. I, I feel very confident in Susan Wakoma. Um, so yeah, that's, that's series 16 Taskmaster contestants as survivor players. This will be so much shorter compared to the others because it's just one series but um i i love taskmaster series 16 i haven't rewatched all the episodes i've only finished them once at the time that i'm recording this which is a week or two after the series has ended but um i'm gonna rewatch them all because i loved it i loved this cast I, I already said it probably a few times but all-time great cast i think um they all have such they they're all funny and weird and they all have a handful of standout moments, I think, a lot of memorable moments, and uh, I love them and will miss them. Well, I won't miss them because I'll go, I'll rewatch the series. Maybe I'll do that after I'm done recording. All right, <laughs> thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>